Welcome to the Real Andy of Beverly Hills Show. Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the Real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. Girl, it is Sunday, fun day. I know that you might be having the Sunday scaries, but like, girl, don't get into it because tomorrow is Monday. We have a whole new week ahead of us full of fun. And, um, you know, today it, it, it's Halloween. It's Halloween month, okay? Like, there are parties, there are situations, there are get-togethers. Just go and have fun. Am I right? Okay, guys. We are going to be talking about Miss Luanda Lesseps defending Shannon Bedore against the horrible accusations that the wannabe housewife Joel Kim uh, tried to make, okay? But before we get into all of that mess, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome to The Worldly Troop, where I keep it real and I mention it all. So if you want to know what is happening inside of the Bravoverse, with the pop culture street and more well you know what to do subscribe 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 and hit that notification bell and before we start we need to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people from rose forever rose forever is having a special collaboration this month as you know it is october and in october we were pink and we were pink to uh, raise awareness for breast cancer Okay, so they're having a very special collaboration. If you go and you click on the link on the description below, you will automatically get 20% off your flowers. Okay, these are real, real uh, roses that last up to a year. They have a special treatment. They smell amazing. They have different colors, different bouquets, you know, just whatever you have to say, say it with roses from Rose Forever. All right, guys, so let's talk about this mess. As you know, this guy, uh, Joel Kim Booster, he lost his mind at some point and went hard against Shannon Bedore, you know? Now, a couple of days ago, the guy decided to apologize. Mm -hmm. He came forward, and we talked about this yesterday. If you haven't watched that video, go and watch it, but he came forward he apologized. He said that he didn't mean any of the things that he said. I mean, of course, he was pushed to do it. Uh, not only he literally jeopardized his whole career with NBC for something so dumb and stupid, you know. Uh, and he, he could literally jeopardize his career with absolutely everything. Now, to be honest with you, the apology to me was like very fake, very like, it, it, it didn't make sense, especially after the things he said. On his original post, he says stuff about, like, hoping that Shannon Bedore suffers. He was trashing her kids. He was, like, it, it was so bad, guys. It was horrible. It was very hard to watch. And then he tried to apologize. Let me see if I can find part of the apology over here. Um, he says stuff like, uh, she, he let, I let an onset conflict cloud my judgment and access the darkest, ugliest part of myself and said things I don't stand or uh, I don't stand by or even believe. And I am deeply sorry that I allowed myself, my worst self, to cloud my judgment. And then he goes on and tried to like apologize to Shannon and say that she was going through so much, you know. He's a st a stuff like, I am deeply sorry for the ways in which I have made Shannon's road towards stability more difficult. Um, he says, like, I regret making this part of the story of our show as I'm deeply proud of the, of the work myself. There is a lot. Of, if you, if you want to hear the whole apology, go to my video from yesterday. But he was really trying. And I think he never realized, however outburst he had, you know, that this was bigger than him or Shannon. You know, he was playing with the job of hundreds of people who make part of this show. Because if this will get really out of control, like literally, they could just cancel the show, never air it. You know what I mean? 
So I think it, I found it so irresponsible that for him and unprofessional, of course, from him to do something like this. Anyways, now after he apologized, now Lou and the Lesseps, who is also part of the show, decided to come forward and kind of like talk about the situation and if she ever really saw Shannon being so bad against someone, you know, like the other guy was trying to say. And this is, okay, this is what she has to say. Let me find it over here. She said, I did not notice that it all. So it must have been kind of like an on-site sidebar because I didn't see any of that. And I didn't see Shannon treating anybody illy. Luan said of the feud on, uh, on the podcast with Melissa Gorga. She also said it was obviously something very personal to Joel that he got offended and then kind of lashed out and then went, oh shit, what did I do? After Joel deleted the harsh post against Shannon, Luan said he offered an apology to everyone. Uh, she says he apologized to all of us because it affects all of us. I think he made a mistake for sure and I feel bad for Shannon because I am sure she was hurt by it and he mentioned her children. Girl, it's just, it was so, honestly, it was just so disgusting. The things that he said on that post were just plain bad. And I don't think there is any forgiveness right now. Even though I believe in second chances, I think that people need to, like, you know, show with actions that they are really remorseful. And I think at some point you also need to be punished for your actions in some way. You know, you cannot just be going around and doing whatever you want to do. In order to change, you have to be accountable. You know what I mean? So I feel that, yeah, first of all, he should not be the host of that show ever again, okay? And maybe be a little bit blacklisted by NBC. Not forever, you know, but just a little bit, you know, so he can, like, learn that you cannot do whatever you want to do, okay? Now, uh, another phone power that Luanda uh, said was, you know, her opinion of the new ladies of New York which they're not that new anymore. They're on their second season, you know, so this ship is just going at this point, right? But she says that she actually likes the new cast and that she, her favorite people are Erin Litchi, Uba Hassan, and Bryn Whitfield. And she says about the other girls that she doesn't really know them well at all, which is fair. I mean, I don't think they are, you know, having time together or anything. I will love at some point, I don't think it's going to happen this season, but like maybe next season at some point, to have, you know, a little cameos here and there from the old ladies dealing with this. I'm dying to see how these ladies will react with someone like Ramona or Dorinda being drunk or Sonia Morgan being drunk. Like, I would love for them to see how how it's done you know what i mean i mean i'm so sorry i love look i love the new cast they're amazing but sometimes i'm like Ugh, can you just like give us what we want you know what i mean um so yeah I'm, I'm i'm curious so anyways let me know what you guys think on the comments below about all of these between luan shannon king oh kim no um what is his name joel you know let me know and if you want to get all the tea related to what is this? Love Hotel? Uh, Bravo? The Bravoverse? I don't know. Uh, let me know. And don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.